Helping others is an inherently noble pursuit that reflects our compassion, empathy, and desire to make the world a better place. However, the act of helping can sometimes have unintended and even harmful consequences. It is crucial to recognize that good intentions do not always guarantee positive outcomes. In fact, without careful consideration, helping can lead to various negative effects on both the helper and the recipient. By exploring these potential pitfalls, we can better understand how to provide assistance in a way that is genuinely beneficial and sustainable. First, let's consider the phenomenon known as Martyr Syndrome. This condition occurs when individuals consistently place the needs of others above their own, often at the expense of their well-being. People suffering from Martyr Syndrome feel a compelling need to sacrifice their time, energy and resources to assist others even when it incurs personal costs. Though their intentions are undoubtedly altruistic, this pattern of self-sacrificial behavior can lead to severe physical, emotional, and mental exhaustion. Over time, their health and happiness may deteriorate as they become increasingly depleted. This cycle of self-neglect not only harms the helper, but also reduces their capacity to provide effective support to others. Helpers who consistently ignore their needs may find themselves burned out, less capable of assisting those in need, and potentially resentful, which undermines the very purpose of their altruism. Another potential consequence of helping is the creation of dependency. When assistance is offered too frequently or without promoting self-reliance, it can foster a reliance on the helper. This dependency undermines the recipient's ability to solve problems independently and develop essential life skills. In the long run, it can erode their confidence and self-efficacy, leading to a sense of helplessness. True empowerment involves providing support in a way that encourages growth and resilience, rather than creating a perpetual need for assistance. Helpers must strike a balance between offering aid and fostering independence to ensure that their support leads to long-term benefits. By doing so, they help build the recipient's capacity to handle future challenges autonomously, which is the most sustainable form of assistance. The emotional drain experienced by helpers is another critical issue. Constantly providing support to others can be emotionally taxing, leading to exhaustion, burnout, and compassion fatigue. These conditions are not only detrimental to the helper's well-being, but also diminish their ability to offer meaningful assistance. Helpers must recognize their emotional limits and prioritize self-care to maintain their capacity to help others effectively. By taking care of their mental health, they can continue to provide support without compromising their well-being. This balance ensures that the helper remains a stable and enduring source of support rather than becoming another person in need of help. In some cases, helping can enable destructive behaviors. By continually rescuing someone from the consequences of their actions, we may inadvertently encourage harmful patterns and a lack of accountability. For example, providing financial support to someone with a gambling problem can prevent them from facing the repercussions of their behavior and seeking the necessary help. Effective assistance involves setting boundaries and encouraging personal responsibility. By doing so, we ensure that our support does not perpetuate negative behaviors, but instead promotes positive change and accountability. This approach helps individuals learn from their mistakes and make better choices in the future, leading to more sustainable personal growth. Another potential issue is the loss of identity that can occur when individuals immerse themselves in the needs of others. When helping becomes an all-consuming activity, one's sense of self can fade into the background. This can lead to a diminished sense of personal fulfillment and purpose. Helpers must maintain their interests, goals and identity while assisting others to avoid losing themselves in the process. By doing so, they can ensure a healthy balance between self-care and caregiving preserving their sense of self-worth and personal satisfaction. Maintaining personal identity and interests not only enriches the helper's life, but also models healthy behavior for those they assist. Furthermore, 
financial strain is a practical but significant concern associated with helping others. Continuously providing financial support can deplete one's resources, leading to personal financial difficulties. It is essential to recognize one's financial limits and offer support within those boundaries. Ensuring financial stability is crucial for both the helper and the recipient, as it prevents the helper from becoming another individual in need of assistance. Helpers must be mindful of their financial health to continue offering sustainable support. Responsible financial assistance involves setting limits and ensuring that the helper's generosity does not compromise their stability and well-being. Additionally, neglecting personal needs is a common issue among those who help others excessively. The saying, you can't pour from an empty cup, underscores the importance of self-care. Helpers who neglect their health and well-being in favor of others can experience a decline in their physical and mental health. Prioritizing personal needs ensures that helpers remain capable and healthy, allowing them to continue supporting others effectively. Self-care is not selfish. It is a necessary component of sustainable helping. By ensuring their well-being, helpers can provide more consistent and effective support to those in need. Moreover, resentment and bitterness can arise when help is not reciprocated, acknowledged or appreciated. Helpers may feel taken for granted, leading to negative emotions that strain relationships. It is important to manage expectations and recognize that not all acts of kindness will be met with gratitude or reciprocity. Finding intrinsic satisfaction in the act of helping, rather than relying on external validation, can mitigate these negative feelings. By focusing on the joy of giving and the impact of their assistance, helpers can maintain a positive outlook and avoid resentment. This approach fosters a healthier emotional environment and more sustainable relationships. The impact on personal relationships is another critical consideration. When one partner consistently focuses on the needs of others, their own relationships can suffer. A partner may feel neglected or undervalued, leading to tension and conflict. Maintaining a balance between helping others and nurturing personal relationships is essential for overall well-being and harmony in one's personal life. Open communication and mutual support within relationships can help manage this balance and ensure that both partners feel valued and respected. Prioritizing personal relationships ensures that helpers maintain a support network, which is crucial for their emotional and mental health. Here is another crucial point to be considered. Compassion fatigue. It is a specific form of burnout, resulting from the chronic stress of caring for others. It manifests as mental and physical exhaustion, reducing the helper's capacity to empathize and care effectively. Recognizing the signs of compassion fatigue and taking proactive steps to manage stress is crucial for maintaining the ability to help others without compromising one's health. Regular self-care practices, such as mindfulness, exercise and leisure activities, can help mitigate compassion fatigue and preserve emotional resilience. By addressing compassion fatigue, helpers can maintain their ability to provide empathetic and effective support. Lastly, unrealistic expectations can place immense pressure on helpers to always be available for others. This constant demand can lead to feelings of inadequacy and overwhelm. Setting realistic boundaries and communicating them clearly helps manage expectations and ensures that the helper can provide sustainable support. Helpers must recognize that they cannot be all things to all people and that it is okay to say no when necessary. By setting healthy boundaries, they can maintain their well-being and continue to offer meaningful assistance. Realistic expectations help prevent burnout and ensure that the helper remains a reliable and effective source of support. My friend, it's important to note that this doesn't mean we should stop giving or helping others. Rather, it's about setting boundaries to ensure that we are not sacrificing our own well-being in the process. Helping others is still a beautiful and valuable act, but it must be balanced with self-care and self-respect. While helping others is fundamentally a positive and compassionate act, it's always important to be aware of its potential pitfalls. 
I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you're still with me, please leave a comment on what you learned or what you would like to add. I would appreciate it. As always, wishing you a beautiful day.